up guys, Sim here, and this is Street Race Talk episode 91, and today we will be talking all about Hot Rod Drag Week 2017. As I'm recording this, the lane, staging lanes just closed for the final day, and I have actually the live stream going on right now, and I'm just ha playing in the background the remaining cars that are going. It's the honk if parts fall off. Chevelle is making a hit right now. And then after that, there's only a couple more pairs going down. And then it, it will be over. But this was a very great... Ex oh, the Ghetto Gasser is there as well. What do you know? And speaking of the Ghetto Gasser, you, we'll jump, jump right into it. Because I was planning on talking about some of my favorite cars from the week. That's right. This episode, we're just talking about Drag Week. There were some things that happened in street racing, but... We'll save it for next week. This week is just for Drag Week. And the first car I want to talk about and just, like, we're going to talk about multiple different cars. Just some of my favorites from it. Some ca The car that won and then a couple of other cars. First car is the Ghetto Gasser. Now, <laughs> the reason why I'm talking about this car is because this car shows that at Drag Week, you don't need, like, a drag car or a race car. This is for anyone and everyone just to go out, have fun, have a good time. And he did. He had, like, 26s on the front and small drag radials on the back. This thing looked like it was doing a wheelie just sitting there. It was the ghetto gasser. Hell, he, hell he, this guy might start his own class for gassers. Who knows? The ghetto gasser. It's new NHRA class. <laughs> Who knows? But still... I really thought that I was cool. Yeah, the car, it was hilarious. Freiberger and Brian Loans were always counting. Oh, here comes the ghetto gasser. Watch the views just go down. But still, that was funny joking around. But I just thought that was cool. Showing that that car like proves that you can drive any car at Drag Weekend. This is just about going out there and having a good time. The second car I want to talk about is the Opel Ascona, I believe. It's the guys from Sweden. They're like one of, if not the fastest street racers in Sweden. This is Street Race Talk, and they were here at Drag Week. I was at Drag Week yesterday at day four at Great Lakes Dragway, and I saw that car up close, and I was looking at it. I was like, how the hell do these guys fit in this thing? It's so small. The wheelbase is so short, but still, that car is so cool, so awesome, so much fun to watch. He ran like low... Eight, actually, no, he did he run sevens? I'm not sure off the top of my head, but that car is very fast. I love seeing it come back year after year. It's so cool seeing guys that street race all the way over in Sweden and guys from all around the world come to this one race to just torture themselves for a week. It's so cool, so and so awesome and fun to watch. And speaking of cars that come just from all around the country, at Drag Week, this car is from all over the world coming like there's tons of guys from australia there like for example there's the australian charger there was an australian valley and i was looking i didn't know what it was at first i was like because the whole from the windshield back it's a dart and the front end is completely different and i walked up and looked at it, i was like wait this thing's right hand drive and i was looking at that and realized it was the australian car and then there's the plymouth vip that thing was huge and i believe he was from iceland i could be wrong or no finland I believe. I know there were definitely other guys from Finland, and I heard there was someone from Iceland. I mean, that's just crazy. Guys come from all around the world to this race, and I just think that's so cool and awesome to see. Doc McIntyre made history this year at Drag Week. He was the first naturally aspirated car to run in the sevens. He went a 799 at 165 miles an hour. That is in a, in a naturally aspirated, like, first-gen Camaro. That's just so cool. That guy, he's been coming back year after year. That car is just so cool, so awesome and fun to watch, just like all these cars. It's so cool seeing guys come back year after year after year after year, and he's one of those guys that always makes sure to show up. And it was so cool seeing him make history, being the first naturally aspirated car to run in the seven. If you look at it, like, Probably six, seven years ago, Larry Larson was the first car to run in the sevens, and he had a twin turbo big block. This guy's running naturally aspirated with a big block Chevy and ran 799. That's just crazy. So cool to see. I can't wait to see how fast he goes in the future. Hopefully, maybe one day he'll get into the sixes. He also beat Eddie Miller's record for, I believe, fastest overall ET, like for fastest average ET of the week for a naturally aspirated car. So congrats to Doc McIntyre for having an amazing drag week this year. And now time to, I guess, talk about the main topic of today, which is the winner of Hot Rod Drag Week 2017. As you, many of you know, 
Jeff Lutt sadly was not able to compete. We'll talk about that after. But in his place, there were two guys that every whose all eyes were on. All eyes were on these two guys all week. And that was Dave Schroeder and Tom Bailey. As you guys know, Tom Bailey sadly broke his motor. I don't remember what exactly happened. He had like... Uh, the motor just got destroyed from what I saw. The motor just ate itself up. And in his place was Dave Schroeder left to win it all. And he did. He won. He made a pass today. That was like an eight second run just to seal the win. And then just a little bit ago, probably his last pass. He Because staging lanes, like I said, are closed. He's not going to have time to make another one. So his last pass, a hot rod drag week 2017, was a 7.08 at 209 miles per hour. Yesterday, when I saw him, he went a 6.70, and then I believe he went a 6.50 earlier in the week. And just congrats to Dave. That's so cool, so awesome to see. He's been in this event for so long. Almost, I, He might have been in it from the start. I'm not sure on that. You Correct me if I'm wrong. But he's been in this Corvette, I believe, since 2012, when I started following Drag Week. That was the first year I found out about it and followed it. And then seeing that car just progress and finally, finally win. He is the first nitrous car to win since, I believe, Eddie Miller. Because he, that was at the second drag week. The first one, Carl Scott won of the Honey Badger. He had nitrous. Then the next year, 2006 or 2007, I don't remember. Eddie Miller won in that purple duster. And I believe he was nitrous. And then finally, again, another nitrous car wins. Because right after that, it was just Larry Larson for the next five years years and then there was Jeff Lutz in there, Tom Bailey, and now Dave Schroeder. Congrats to him. That's so awesome to see him win. I was talking to him yesterday at the track. You guys will see that in the video coming out Monday of like I did a whole video of me at Great Lakes Dragway for Hot Rod Drag Week 2017. So you guys can look forward to that on Monday and you'll get a whole you'll see the conversation. But I talked to him about it and I was saying, I mean I hope you win. I good luck to you. This I'm just so Excited and so happy to see this car doing so well this year, especially after last year. How he, he I believe he, it was the first day I believe he crashed because the parachute wouldn't deploy. He locked up the brakes, lost control, and hit the wall. And then, sadly, with the passing of Monty Smith, just seeing this car win, arguably the most difficult street. This is the most difficult race to win for a street car, the biggest race for a street car is Drag Week. This race is huge, so awesome, so cool. We talked all about that last week, how big Drag Week is, and he won it. That's just so cool. I'm sure Monty Smith is up there somewhere smiling, and Dave Schroeder's down here with the big old smile on his face. That I'm so happy for him that he won. I mean, that car, he's been in it for, like I said, since 2012. I believe he's been racing in the Unlimited class, in that car, running nitrous, in his eight. 172 cubic inch nitrous motor with three kits of nitrous they said he was spraying in that last pass he got out of the groove and still went a 708 and yeah congrats to dave schroeder on winning hot rod drag week 2017 i can't wait to see him back out next year at hot rod drag week 2018 and i mentioned before we started talking about dave jeff lutz As you guys know, he did not compete in Drag Week. And last week I said, I want Jeff Lutz to win. He's the guy that I want to win the whole thing. But sadly, he was unable to compete. He said that there were two reasons why he didn't compete. One, his co-pilot, who he said was irreplaceable, was stuck down in Florida because of the hur- Hurricane Irma. And he wasn't able to get here. So that's one reason. And second reason is... He was out to like 2.30, 3.30 in the morning filming Street Outlaws. And he got there at 2.30 to Cordova. And you had to be there by, I believe, 1 o'clock. And he said, yeah, they would have let me in. They even told me they'd let me in. But if they let me in, they'd have to let everyone in. If they break the rules for one guy, they'd have to break the rules for everyone. And I got a lot, you got to give Jeff Lutz a lot of respect for that. I mean, he has a car that arguably he could have won this race with. He made a pass yesterday when I was there, and I was, I was recording it when he pulled back up. And they were look when they looked at the time slip, his son Jeffrey and then some other guy in his crew, they were happy. And then when he got out of the car, they showed him the time slip, and he was very happy as well. So I guarantee you, he ran a very fast pass. So next year at Drag Week, It's going to be crazy. Dave Schroeder coming off the win. Tom Bailey hoping to get his car figured out. 
Jeff Lutz will be there in the 57. Argue, I was going to say this, if he had competed this year. This was after I finished recording last week's episode. If Jeff Lutz wins Drag Week and either beats Chief on the street or makes it to number one on the list, he has arguably the fastest, real, legit steel body car of all time. That That's a pretty big title to have. And when you see Jeff Lutz, first thing that better come to your mind is the word legend. He is just, it was so cool seeing that car make a pass. I sadly didn't get a chance to talk to him. Every time I walked by his, like, booth I guess he had the tent and he was like selling shirts and stuff like that every time I walked by he either wasn't there or there was a huge line of people to see him I was like man I want to get out record a video for you guys so I'll see him again hopefully at some other race and I'll be able to talk to him then but still Jeff Lutz his car made a very fast hit yesterday and I can't wait to see it at drag week next year and then on the street for street outlaws and speaking of what I just mentioned, next year we're going to be seeing Jeff Lutz, Dave Schroeder, Tom Bailey, and one other guy, Larry Larson. That is right. Larry Larson has announced that he will be at Hot Rod Drag Week 2018. Jeff Lutz and Larry Larson both guaranteed, they confirmed that they will be at Hot Rod Drag Week 2018. So boys, next year... Next Hot Rod Drag Week, this is going to be the biggest and baddest drag week to ever happen. You got, like I've literally just said, Dave Schroeder coming off a win. Tom Bailey hopefully getting his car figured out. I mean, he got out of the groove, pedaled the car a few times, and still runs like 650s. Jeff Lutz and arguably one of, if not the fastest steel body street cars of all time, probably will run a 5 second pass. That is right. Jeff Lutz has the potential to run a five second pass at Drag Week next year. And then Larry Larson, who knows what he's going to be in. The king of Drag Week, Larry Larson. Will he be in the Nova trying to compete with an almost five second car? Will he be in the, was it S10, that like pro mod I get in parentheses truck. I'm not sure if it is or not. Or is he going to build a new car to race at Hot Rod Drag Week 2018? We'll have to wait and see. And speaking of Hot Rod Drag Week 2018, as of right now, my plan is to compete and to be in that race. I'll be out there with Jeff Lutz, Larry Larson, Dave Schroeder, Tom Bailey. I'll be out there making a fool of myself. I probably won't be going fast, but the thing is, no one's ever like documented their own experience at drag week there's like 1320 and all these other people that record other people doing it but no one's ever recorded themselves and like we had the first na car in the sevens we're probably going to have the first five second car there's not many firsts to have left we've had the first 200 mile an hour car we've had the first six second car there's not many first left i might be able to get my chance and grab one and be the first person to ever I vlog, I don't really like that word, but I'll use it for this moment, to vlog their experience at Drag Week. I think that would just be so cool. For about five years, I've been wanting to go to this race, and I finally got to go this year. And then ever since I first found out about it, I obviously wanted to race in it. It'll be six years I've been wanting to compete in Drag Week, and hopefully next year will finally be the year. That is right. As of right now, my plans are 100% to compete in Hot Rod Drag Week 2018. So we got a long wait until about, we got a year until Drag Hot Rod Drag Week 2018, but it's going to be worth the wait because this is going to be the biggest, baddest drag week ever because we're going to see Jeff Lutz, Larry Larson, Tom Bailey, Dave Schroeder, and myself, Sim ABCXYZ, at Hot Rod Drag Week 2018. And congrats to Dave Schroeder on winning Hot Rod Drag Week 2017. So, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love Drag Week. I love talking about it every year. And I can't wait till next year. Hopefully, I'll be in it. So, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys tune in this Monday for the video of me at Day 4 of Hot Rod Drag Week 2017. A great Lakes Dragway, Union Grove, Wisconsin. That'll go up Monday. Then Wednesday will be another video of what I'm doing to my car. Then you come back next Friday for Street Race Talk episode 92. Make sure you send all of your Street Racing news to streetracetalk at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Sim ABC XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim ABC XYZ signing out.